Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the JAX RS that is a RESTful web service uh, and we'll see, uh, we'll discuss uh, how uh, JAX RS uh, implementation like Jersey or CXF, how can we integrate it with the Spring Boot application. So let's go to the Spring Initializer website. So here if you go to the Spring Boot Initializer website and if you click on the switch to the full version then you will get the uh, different categories. So if you come to the web category then if you remember uh, in, in past video tutorials uh, we had created some RESTful web services and to create a RESTful web services we had selected this option web and this will add uh, basically a spring boot a starter web in your a spring boot application and uh, we were capable to create a restful web services but if you come down then you see a jersey implementation like that comes under jax rs itself and you have a apache cxf jax rs and if you come down then you have a one more category is called hatos and uh, saying that hatos based restful uh, restful services but here mainly, mainly I'm going to talk on these two uh, basically this com I'll comparison between these two mostly uh, sorry uh, I'll compare compare between these two right so if you have a already web uh, to create a restful web based capabilities with a spring boot starter web then why should I go for the jersey then uh, that's the discussion of uh, that's the topic of discussion so basically JAX RS is a, a specification for implementing REST web services in Java it is a part of Java e technology uh, Jersey is the JAX RS reference implementation however uh, there are other implementations such as REST EG and Apache CX, CXF which you can see over here now when we talk about the spring uh, framework uh, especially spring boot uh, then when you add this spring web in your uh, application then saying that full stack web development with tomcat and spring mbc so using this spring boot starter project you can create even a spring mbc application as well as restful web service as restful web service as well right so the spring framework is a full framework that allows you to create java enterprise application the rest capabilities are provided by the spring mbc module and that is the same model that provides uh, model view control capabilities it is not a jax rs implementation but can be seen as a, a spring alternative to the jax rs standard the Spring ecosystem also provides the wide range of projects for creating enterprise application such as uh, uh, integration with Spring, Spring data security, integration with social network, batch processing etc. Uh, using a Spring Boot and Jersey, right? So a Spring Boot, so here you can see the Jersey. A Spring Boot provides the a spring boot starter jersey module that allows you to use the jax rs programming model for the rest endpoints instead of a spring mb it works quite well with jersey 2 as well right so once you select this option and if you generate a project then uh, if you look into the pom.xml then dependency for a spring boot a starter jersey will be added and all dependency which is required to uh, create a restful web services in jersey fashion all jars will be added in your class path uh, i have worked with uh, i have worked with jersey as well as a spring uh, rest web services uh, but but i would like to say both of them are very rich frameworks with nice implementation i would suggest it's better to go with a spring rest if you are using other service other other spring services such as ORM, spring security, dependency injection, etc. Uh, both are uh, a spring libraries uh, because when you select uh, a web module 
and some other services like uh, uh, you have a security transaction management etc then in that case in that case both are a spring alternative so i feel little bit easy for managing code and dependency so when we talk about the jax rs when we talk about the jax rs pros then J, uh, the, then js this is this is a jsr standard can be run without servlet container uh, a second point is that production ready implementation like you have a jersey cxf cxf apache cxf uh, rest easy rest late etc and that is designed for the rest application uh, only now when we talk about the spring mbc web module then it provide full stack not just rest facilities uh, this also provide dependency injection like uh, dependency injection for aop transaction etc uh, and finally it also when we talk about the view our uh, presentation layer it also provides pluggable view template like jsp free marker velocity etc so there is much discussion on the uh, uh, jax rs in this video so this was just a discussion um, on the uh, jax rs uh, as well as uh, wave uh, spring wave the next video tutorial will discuss about the some uh, java web services api so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial